Hey guys, this is Deb Joy Sneak with Delight of My Art. Today's an exciting day. It's July 1st. June is over and we have a new catalog starting today. Actually, two brand new catalogs. We have the mini catalog July through December and we also have Celebration. If you haven't heard of Celebration, this is such a fun little brochure. Everything in here is for free only. You earn it by making purchases through our annual catalog or our mini catalog, anything current. And every $50 increment, you get to pick out something free out of here. Some of the items are $50 increment free items, and then some of them are $100 free items. So I know when I make my wish list, it's well um, over that. So <laughs> just go ahead and make your wish list and see what you can um, put on there, and then we can have some some freebies. Let's go through this real quick. Since today is the very first day, I'm even allowed to open the catalog. So I'm going to take my face off here so you can see real close what is in here. Okay, so we've got the catalog here. On the fourth page here, we'll get some glare here. Hang on. That's worse. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to pull this up here. This is Hippest Hippos. They're so cute. We got Always on Point, You're Hip. Oh, you're really the best and love you a ton. This is a $50 free item. They've got some cute samples in here, but also another $50 free item is the Hippo dies that go along with it. So that's so cool that they have those both coordinating together. And then on this page, this is one of my favorites, Rings of Love DSP. This coordinates with the suite that I'm, or the bundle that I'm actually using on today's project. Um, but it's so cute. It's got little houses. It's got Christmas and fall patterns and also some neutrals. So very cute. I actually used this on our Christmas in July um, that's coming up. So here's a couple sneak peeks of that this is that paper right here you've got some cute poinsettias it also has this cool blue water wash there in this paper actually this one doesn't use but this is on another page you'll see this this is a foiled silver dots this tree image is in here and so is this plaid piece so we make two of each of those for our christmas in july over here on the next page, we've got Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam Envelopes. They are patterned. I don't know if you can see that in the catalog, but it's it's actually really hard to see even in person. But these have patterns on them, and so do the envelopes. So you can kind of see a little bit here. Anyway, we've also got some stylish sketches. Another $50 free item. Cute little animals in the sketchy design. Here's that paper that's foil. You've got silver and gold dots and silver and gold stripes on white paper. Here's another free item. This one's free with a $100 purchase. Really amazing phrases, nice big bold sentiments. I love this, oops, I am the worst. So funny. Over here we've got tree lot dies. These coordinate with something that's in the mini catalog. Very cute. Seen some cute shadow boxes made with this one. There's some close ups of some examples. And then this one is another $100 item for free with any $100 purchase. It comes with both the paper and the stamp set. Super cute. I just made a um, swap card with this suite or this bundle rather. And this is my swap card. I can't take a picture and share this yet on my page, but I'll be doing a tutorial on this soon. So I just thought this was really cute. This is the paper and the stamp set. And then also, if you host or place an order where the orders together are over $300, you get to get this perfect pomegranate set for free. So again, you can collect orders with your friends and family or just place your own $300 order and you get this one for free. And of course, the best deal in the catalog is always to join for $99. You get to pick out $125 of your own choice of products. And during celebration, they always have a joining special. 
you get this making plans collection. This is so stinking cute. You see this planner? It has three notebooks and a stamp set called making plans and all of these inserts and sticker pages. I've got it right here actually. This is not something that you can purchase as um, a customer. You have to get this for free during these next two months and that's it. So it's super cute. Very, very cute. So let's go ahead and get into today's project. All right, again, we're playing with the ringed with nature. I'm having trouble with these lights today, I think. I'll just move that over a smidge. Ringed with nature, we have some dies, and this one comes with a coordinating, um, it's a hybrid embossing folder. So these dies go inside the embossing folder and you run it through the machine at the same time and you get an embossed and cut images. And let me show you an example here. Here's, here's our project that we're making today so then you can see. So this is what we're making. It's a tent card. So this stands up on your desk and this middle piece just kind of hangs there. And so your per recipient can display it on their desk. I thought that was a really nice idea for a get well soon because they'll probably just want to put it by their bedside or next to them while they're watching TV or something. So I just thought this one was so cute. Look at those little mushrooms. Aren't they fun? So let's go ahead and put this together. I'll teach you how to make this fold. And of course, you can use your own projects to make this any um, style or any theme that you want. I saw this on Pinterest, but I, I didn't look up any of the dimension. So I just kind of made up my own. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it seems to work okay. All right. So first of all, let me just pull out some things here. I prepped a few things. That's why it took so long. I've got a card base here and I did run it through with one of these stitch rectangle dies. I'm going to reach down and see which one I used actually. So here I've got the, not the biggest Let's see. I got the biggest and the third biggest, and then this is the fourth biggest. So I ran the card base through with the fourth biggest one centered on the front. So that will be our card base right there. I'm gonna burnish that fold here with my bone folder. Okay, so there's our card base. I also took the largest and the third largest of the rectangles and taped them together with washi tape. And I ran this through with crumb cake because I want to try something. Well, I've already tried it. It did work. It was cool. So that's why I'm doing it again. So we're going to cut this apart here or take this out. I want to do something cool with this. This is creating. Now you can always use these center pieces too. So make sure you save these because it's a nice piece. If you take it off careful after it's stuck to the washi tape here, well, that's a good piece. We'll save that. We'll save this one too. And this one, carefully take my washi off. And sometimes I reuse my washi tape, but this is getting a little old. I will go ahead and discard that. It saves it sticky for a little while. All right. Goodbye, Washi. So now we can just pop this out. And we have this cool border piece for on the inside of our front right here. So you see how this fits right on the front like this? Well, I wanted to emboss it with this cool tree embossing folder. Again, this is the hybrid, so you can use it just by itself like this. Isn't this cool? Look at this. This would make a really cool background, right? I've used this in the bottom right corner so I could get all of these little extra, you know, happy pieces. So that's where I placed that in order to get all of those extra pieces. This is a four inch by five and a quarter. Great for a background. I'm not using that today, but I wanted to show you. But I'm going to put this piece in here, and we're just going to have some texture on our border piece. So I will go ahead and put this in right like that. 
And let's go ahead and get out our machine here. This is the big one. This won't fit in the mini because of the folder being too wide. And I'm gonna use the bottom base plate number one and number four on top. Okay. Put that to the side for a moment. We are gonna need that again. And there's our cool embossed border. Isn't that neat? Oh, Becky just got her hybrid embossing folder today. Good. Yeah, you'll have lots of fun with that. So that will get glued right on the front. So we'll put that to the side for a second. Our other pieces that we're going to be needing are a, let's see, this is four and a half by six inch pieces. These we're going to be putting back into this hybrid folder. This is, you want them to be four and a half by six. It's a little bit of a strange size, but that's what size the folder is. And that way you get the full uh, width and length of the folder to get all of these pieces. So we're going to be cutting all of these out in order to make this cool layered look like this. And you get five at once. So first of all, we're going to take this is soft suede. And if you look at these dies here, we're gonna take this big one, this is one piece, and you'll open up your folder. The smooth back side of your die goes on the side with the label. So it nests right in there just like that. You can see it's got a place to live. And then you're just going to lay your paper right over the top and we're gonna run that through. So now that should cut out the bigger pieces. Again, we're doing the background, so that's why I'm doing the soft suede. So we're gonna have five big rings in soft suede that are already embossed and cut. So let's run this through. And I'm making things crash. Whoops. Probably should have folded that up or something. <laughs> All right, now where did my plate go? There it is, sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. It's a little bit of a crazy day. I was going to come home and um, start my video earlier, but I got a call to be in a commercial <laughs> this morning. So I had to get all fancy and uh, go be in a commercial. So we'll see how that goes. So here is our rings. Oh my goodness, look how cool these are. So you could save this if you wanted to, but I don't think I will. I'll just toss that. But I do have all these rings. So I'm gonna leave those right as they came out, just like that, so I can match up the insides easier. Now I'm gonna take my crumb cake layer. We're gonna put this piece back on my sheet here. This might be a little bit tricky, but we want to line up, again, these inside pieces. So since they're already kind of lined up here on the inside here, I'm just going to try to place them into this little tray the same way. There, that one's snug in there. Just kind of wiggle it till it gets in there. They're a little bit fussy, but you get five at once, so it's worth your time. Let's see. I could have pre-done this part, but I feel like this is kind of a tricky piece, and so I wanted to be able to show you how to do it. I don't know if that was the right way before or not. Let's see. It was. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So now I'm going to gently lay this on the top side there and we'll close the bottom side and then flip it over. I'm gonna pinch it to make sure it stays. I can see through and see that none of those shifted and we'll go ahead and get the machine back up here. 
and I'll try not to drop stuff this time. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> you guys know I'm a real human, right? I make crazy mistakes and crash things. If you're watching live, say hi. I'd love to see who's watching. I know I have some, some secret viewers that never say hi. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take these out. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. Okay, so actually I'll move this machine out of the way because you can't see a thing. Okay, and try not to crash anything. All right, so here's our folder. All of these little dies just get put back into where they're supposed to be over on my sheet here. And then we can pop this out. Now this is kind of a cool piece too. You could have you could have little animals peeking out from inside these. That'd be cute. Somebody should find a way to um, use this extra piece. Maybe me. And then these just get glued right on the top of your other pieces that you you cut. So we're actually just going to be using one of these. So I'll only glue one. But you can see how easy this was to do five at once, and then you. You can use one per project and you have five already. When I make things for a project, sometimes I cut extra pieces and I'll just stick it right in my stamp case inside a little snack bag. I have my Meyer snack bags here, they're square. Um, and I just put a little bag in here and then I can put all my pieces together and they're all in there. So sometimes when I'm crafting, I'll pull out a stamp set and there will all be, already be pieces ready for me to craft with. I really like that. It's like I'm cheating. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put some of these pieces together. We'll do this ring. Again, this is called a tent fold. And it folds flat for mailing. <gasps> Kathy, thank you for commenting. She says, these are very cute. She's usually a quiet watcher. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you said something. Hello, Kathy, I'm so thankful for you and all the rest of you that are still staying quiet. <laughs> it's okay. I know, it It takes courage to, to pop out of the woodwork, woodwork huh? and uh, and say hi, but I love it. I love when you do, it makes me happy. It makes me go, oh my goodness, I have people that want to watch me, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's use this one, we'll save those for later. Okay, so we've got our base piece and we've got one tree ring. I'm also going to be using, let's see, this piece is, what, I had a piece of paper telling me, hang on. This is soft suede and it is three and three quarters by five and a half. And we're going to go ahead and score this one at three quarters at the top here. And I'll bring my trimmer in. Got some fuzz and some paper on it. Okay. So we got three quarters right here. And this is just going to be so that we can fold that and attach it to the inside. This is the flappy piece on the inside. Then we also have a white piece that will go on the center of that. This is three and a half by four and a half. We'll be stamping on that piece. And then we also have this piece, which is four and a quarter by three. This is going to be the little W piece at the end, at the bottom, that we're going to add at the very end. So you're going to score this piece at three quarters of an inch on both sides like this, with the short side at the top. Then you're going to flip it over and score it at one and a half inches. This is right in half because there is a right and a wrong way to score things. That's why I flipped it over. It doesn't really matter, but I don't know. I kind of like to do it right. Okay, so if you see the dent going in, that's going to be the outside of the fold. That's going to be the mountain part. So again, we have inside dent right here and right here. We're just trying to make a W. So that's what's going to be the, oh, oh dear, the bottom piece here. My lights are falling all over the place. Why not add to the hot mess? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Happy July 1st, everybody. <laughs> All right, so we'll set this piece to the side. 
I've got my glue ready and we'll go ahead and get out our grid paper so that we can do some stamping right here. So on this piece, this will be added right up to the top here like this. I don't want to add it quite yet. Um, and then this piece will be going in on the center of that. So when we have our piece down here, I want to be putting kind of everything going around this. So that's about where it's going to sit. So I just had that there so I can see about where this is going to go. So what I actually want to do is take this tree ring piece, uh, the stamps. I'm, I didn't do this on the other one, but I feel like it's it does dangle a little bit far back and it looks a little naked right here. So let's go ahead and put the, another tree ring, the tree ring stamp right there. So I'll get out my soft suede ink pad. And we'll stamp about where I think this is going to go. <laughs> so about there. Sure. And that's all we need for that ink pad. We will also be gluing on some bits and bobs and then stamping some leaves. So I have this cute little leaf. And I'm going to use Old Olive. And we'll just have it sticking off of this little tree ring, like so. That's all we need that for. And the other card I had a get well soon. Let's try a happy anniversary because that's in here too, which is so cool. So let's get out our red ink. It says real red. I have a little heart. I love the little detail on this. I'll show you when I get this in here. Okay, we're gonna put this like this on the corner. So I have it tilted the way I want when I'm putting my heart in there. But I love the little grooves that are in this image. And we will also stamp happy anniversary in real red right there. Then we can glue on a couple of little pieces that I already die cut. Now these pieces are, what color is this? I think it's, it's right here. Oh, it's not listed. Um, it's the darkest green. <laughs> mossy meadow, mossy meadow. And I also cut out some poppy parade. I should have matched that with the red, but that's okay. I felt like this was a little bit um springier poppy parade with the mushroom tops which are also actually that's the stamp you can use the stamp as mushroom tops or acorn bottoms depending on how you cut these so this can be an acorn bottom or it can be a mushroom top so cute okay so let's go ahead and glue down some of these little leaves i'm just gonna glue down just a little dot in some of these leaves. Not too much. Just to give it some depth. Right there. And if I can pick this up, we can do these little mushroom stems. I've got one curving off to the left, so I'll stick that one this way. Oh, I won't want it. Yeah, I want it right there. And then this one. Right there. Oop, I've got sticky fingers. And I'm going to put these on mini dimensionals. So I think that'd be cute. All right. So there we go. We got our little tree. Aren't they so cute? These little tree rings. I love this set. And then the free paper coordinates with it. I'm not using it right now, but it's really cute. I don't know why I didn't do a project with it. I will. I'll do lots more, but. <laughs> All right. So 
So I'm going to put this right on here. Isn't that cute? That well, came together really quick. So that's nice and easy. Just three ink colors there. Oops. And then we've got our piece here. So this, I actually want to use a tape runner, like our stamp and seal. And it seems to run off. There it is. I see you. All right, I'm going to put this on. Huh. Dimensional backing. These things get everywhere. All right, get off my finger. I'm going to run two strips of that on here so it's stuck nice and good up here. I'm going to evenly place that hopefully. And then I want to make sure that it also uh, folds flat before I push down. So I'm going to do that so that we have our middle piece. Isn't that cute? So you could actually leave that open so it could open even wider. You could make your W, and that's probably too wide. Look at that. It's just kind of sliding. This is why we do the bottom piece, y'all. Okay. So let's go ahead and get rid of our grid paper here. And this just goes on the bottom. So we're just going to add a strip here. And this is going to go... So the W is a W when you're putting it into the card. Hopefully that makes sense. So this this um, folded part is going to go along the bottom part. And if you put your fingers there, you should be able to line it up straight, supposedly. All right, so then we have this side, and we'll just fold it closed once we put some glue on this top slot. I mean, you can see that this hangs freely in there without um, getting bothered by this piece. So we'll add more seal down here. Ooh, let go. And there, <laughs> it's working, it's working. So it's hanging in there, but it does tend to go towards the front because of how we glued it in there. So if you um, wanted it to hang more in the middle, we could burnish that fold before we put it in there. But I think it's cute. And now we can put this piece in. See, I like that there's that behind there. I think that, I feel like that helps it not be so empty looking back there. Okay, so we're gonna add this with dimensionals too. We're almost done. So we're going to put a couple over here. I just have the minis out right now, so I'll just put two there. I'm laying this here so I can see where I want those. Two right here. Okay. Karen says they uh, mushroom tops also look like they could be used as gumdrops. That's absolutely right. What a great Christmas idea. And they're super cute. They got little little dots on them. I bet if you put um, Wink of Stella on there, they'd look like the, the sweetest little gumdrops. All right, I want to cover up my tree ring here, kind of, while it's closed. And cover up my dimensionals. Oh my goodness, it's so cute! Well, there's our card for today. Today, again, is starting our sales of new products in the mini catalog. Here's my two cards. Again, this is a tent card. You can shop with me anytime at orderwithdeb.com. And remember, every $50 increment, you earn free products. So make sure you don't check out without um, putting in your free products in your cart. And if you have not added to my email list, please make sure that you click the link in the description so that you get my updates and more free tutorials. And I think that was it. <laughs> Stay tuned also for more classes coming up. But um, if you need a catalog, also that was the other thing. If you need a set of catalog, I'd be happy to mail some to you. You just need to email me at debjoysmeek at delightofmyart.com and let me know your full name and address. And then if you're emailing me, I'll have your email address. <laughs> so
So have a fabulous weekend. Happy 4th of July weekend. Let me know what you're doing and um, have a fabulous day. Bye guys.